Hi everyone, Ed from Bubble Vans here. Our customers bought us a Transit Custom uh, to fit a heater and a leisure battery and a battery to battery charger. Uh, as you know, we're big fans of the Renergy products. However, the DC DC charger they do, and we usually fit the 40 amp version, doesn't have a voltage sensing circuit built in, which means they ask you to find something called the D plus line. Now the D plus line isn't actually an ignition as such, it's actually an engine running signal. And on most vehicles, it's an absolute pig to find. Um, the Transit, for example, does give you a customer connection point, but it's buried in the seat and you have to take all the batteries out uh, and it's a massive pain. So what we tend to do is we actually use our Solaris, which is essentially a voltage detection relay. And what we do is we wire that up uh, to the vehicle battery um, and it detects the battery voltage and essentially it's if it's above 12 and a half, oh, sorry, 12 point, nine i think we set it to it will then fire the charger on if it's lower than that it'll turn the charger off so we'll just go through how we've wired it up and show you it all working we're under the seat now this is the, as i said a transit custom 2013 uh 100 amp hours of lithium solaris controller there's our renergy 40 amp uh, dc to dc battery charger auto turn over that side uh, all the, the gubbins, fuses, blah, blah, blah. Um, so the way this is wired in, uh, the big wire here, this is the cable that comes essentially from the customer connection point, which is the big one on the side of the seat, uh, which is a fused 60 amp circuit. So that's quite handy actually to come straight into the charger, which is 40 amps. Um, we've then got another feed that comes off the charger. That's got its separate fuse there because it's obviously a much smaller wire. I'll just show you that. So that's the fuse. That's got two amp in it. So obviously it's not carrying any current. Uh, and that basically runs our Solaris. So we'll take that off. If so that runs in, that's wired. We'll put a diagram on the blog. Contact us if you want any more information. So you've got ground in the middle. Uh, this is the voltage sensing uh, pin, power pin. And then that's also connected to the um, common of the relay. The output of the relay, that then goes off to a switch over the other side, which I will show you now. So this is behind the passenger seat. Um, just got a little basic fuse panel. Um, customer only wanted USBs and a 12 volt socket, so one of these is ideal. Um, heater outlet is here. And this is effectively a rocker switch. Um, and the way we've wired this is if it's in the middle, it doesn't give any signal um, to the uh, DC DC charger if it's one it wires the D plus to positive and it also connects the low current um, Which means it'll run at 20 amps rather than 40 amps and if we go to two that'll run at 40 amps as soon as the battery gets to, um, As soon as the battery is detected at more than 12.9 volts So we'll show you it working now we've actually put a 10 second countdown um, on the device so that the engine alternator's got a little bit of time to get going um, before it actually starts charging the battery. In normal use, we'd actually have that at more like two or three minutes just to let the engine get warm before it has to supply another 40 amp load somewhere in the system. Also, it will then recharge the main battery before the measure battery. Um, but if I just start this, this is just showing, I guess that's dropped now, 11.8, just because the fans and the radios come on, start the van. See, now the voltage starts to come up, 12.8, so it's come to 13 volts. So, yeah, so I did have that set there. If I change that to this. So now that started a little timer. Um, that's counting down from 20 seconds. Uh, so we've got another 10 seconds to wait. <laughs> but what we should then see is the little green light on the front of the charger is gonna come on uh, and start charging my battery. There we go, heard a click, and you can see down there, little red LED illuminating the uh, front panel. So I'll switch the engine off there, charger goes off, and job done. So I'll just demonstrate it working now. It's currently measuring 12.6 volts. That is the vehicle, uh, not the leisure battery. But if I now just turn the ignition on, so the voltage has dropped because the vehicle battery is supplying all of the auxiliary stuff so the radio the lights are on and all the fans and all that stuff so I'll start it 
and we should find that the voltage starts to come up as the alternator starts doing its thing. You see that's 13.8, so that should be well within our threshold. There you go, so we started our 20 second countdown. So we're on 10 seconds, and then in 10 seconds, that relay will close, it will fire the uh, signal down to the switch. The switch is in two, so it should then charge at 40 amps. And now, we should now get a green light. There we go. So green light illuminating the front of the uh, battery box. So we'll put this back onto voltage, 13.4. If I then turn the engine off, I'll just show you that green light there. As soon as I turn the engine off, that goes off, voltage drops, and we're back to where we were before. So hopefully that's been useful. Lots of people will say, oh, you should find the D plus line, find the ignition, it's not that hard. On things like relays, it's really not that hard because you can use the cigarette lighter, uh, for example. Um, that will come on when you start the ignition, so not necessarily when the engine's running. Um, but fitting one of these, firstly, it saves you so much time because you're not scrabbling around in the fuse box or whatever. Um, and also it does allow you to set that timer. So if you say, oh, I don't want it to come on straight away, I want it to wait for five minutes or 10 minutes of driving before it actually starts to charge the battery to let the engine come up to temperature, um, you've got that facility as well. So I hope that's been helpful. Uh, drop us an email if you've got any questions. And yeah, good luck with your van build.